Hey everybody, uh, Gino Allison here from the South Suburban Vineyard Church. Um, there's been a lot going on in our uh, country, if you, you haven't noticed. A lot of issues, a lot of unrest, and much of it stems from uh, racial injustices that are um, playing out in the news. And what we're seeing uh, are reactions to those racial uh, injustices, and we're seeing riots and uh, demonstrations, some of them violent uh, in the streets with things burning and people uh, responding to some of the racial injustices. And I just feel like this is a really big, multi-layered, complicated thing that some of us have trouble wrapping our minds around. So at the center of all this is racism and, and white supremacy, as I see it. And so I feel like I need to define those terms. When, I, when some of us think white supremacy, we think of Klansmen, hoods, you know, burning crosses. But I feel like it's deeper than that. White supremacy is just whiteness being supreme, white being right, whiteness sort of being at the center of everything and everything else and everybody else is sort of other. Our nation was founded on that broken and sinful understanding of humanity. And I feel like that's what at, that's what at the root of what we would call racism. Racism is simply a man-made social construct that assigns value to people on the basis of something as simple as skin color. So racism assigns value to some on the basis of their white skin, and it robs others of God-given value on the basis of darker skin. It is simple and as sinful as that. So here's what I'm noticing. Our instinct as humans are to try to simplify big and complicated things, to shrink them down to something that's foldable and portable, something that we can tuck away in our pocket, something that we can quickly do away with. And this issue is too big and too complicated and too important to do that. And so my challenge to all of us is don't be afraid to sit in this in the discomfort and in the awkwardness of this. Don't be afraid to sit in this and pray about this and dialogue about this and sit in the discomfort of this because here's what I've learned. It takes a really long time to get good at dealing with complicated issues like race. It takes a really long time to really thoroughly understand the roots of racism, the roots of privilege, the roots of white supremacy and how to root it out of your life and deal with it and lay down the things. It takes a really long time to become culturally competent and culturally sensitive and culturally aware and to understand not just what you're seeing, but the things and the history behind what you're seeing. It takes a really long time. Here, here's what else I know, that we get really tired of this conversation really easily, really quickly. You know, these things are right in front of our face right now because they're in the news. But a week or two from now, as this dies down, it, it gets real easy to move on, especially if you're being challenged, especially if you're being sort of corrected, especially if you're out of your comfort zone, especially if you're not good at this yet. It gets this gets old real fast. And so these two realities that it takes a long time to get good at this and the reality that we weary of this subject really quickly is, is working against us. And so it's not until we value like uprooting racism and white supremacy out of our life, out of our churches, out of our understandings of how the world should work. It's not until we really value that, that we will start doing the work to sit in this, listen when we need to listen, to speak or to speak up when it's time to speak up, right? And to do the things, the hard work that we need to do in order to press into this, to learn and to grow and to show solidarity and to minimally uh, do no harm by assigning value to the people that God assigns value to. And that's all of humanity. And so this is a complicated issue. I am not surprised <laughs> that most people don't get this. I am not surprised that most people are at a loss for words. I am not surprised that there is um, just this confusing, confusion sur surrounding what 
we should do. I'm not surprised at all. It takes a while, but you got to sit in it. You got to lean in. You got to ask the right questions. And you got to ask the Holy Spirit to do work in your heart so that we can lean in. And so I'm, uh, uh, we're not even anywhere near the end of this thing. Um, but I encourage all of us to press in and don't grow weary in doing good. Learn to see value in the people and in the places where God sees value and uh, to keep pressing on. So God bless you. Um, I'll see you later.